I always go back to 1972, the Summit Series, uh, when, to me, one of the greatest eight games I've ever seen an individual play, Phyllis Bezito, was so dominant and such a force for Team Canada. And I always remember that speech that he gave in Vancouver about they're trying their hardest and he can't believe that Canadians are booing their team. And, um, and at the time, it was such a great series and so good for hockey. And obviously it was great because we won, but um, the three best players in the game um, for Canada weren't playing. Bobby Hall had jumped, jumped to the WHA, which people forgot, and they wouldn't let him play. Bobby Orr was hurt. He hurt his knee and he couldn't play. And Gordie Howe had just retired. So we went in as good of a team as we were, and we were a great team. Our three best players were not part of that team. And I remember watching Bobby Hall in the stands in Winnipeg in game three, I believe. And you could just see the look in his eye, how disappointed he was that he couldn't be part of Team Canada. And I always remember thinking, gosh, here's a guy that's accomplished so much and been such a great player that if playing for Team Canada means that much to a guy like Bobby Hall, it must be really special. And so when I got that opportunity uh, when I was 16 to play Team Canada Juniors, and it was such an amazing experience to be part of the World Junior Tournament and play for Canada, that I always thought, gosh, one day I, I hope I can play for Canada. We didn't think about the Olympics because at that time, pros couldn't play in the Olympics. And all I kept thinking was, wow, I want to be a professional hockey player. So I knew if you did one, you couldn't do the other. Thankfully, 96, 97 came along and we were able to be part of Team Canada in 98. I think it's great um, um, that we're part of the Olympic Games. And you can see it. And I see it with guys like Connor, McDavid, Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews they desperately want to play for their country in these yeah. Olympics coming up. And that's so wonderful because that comes all the way back to what guys did in 98 and then 02. And then of course, in 2010, that these kids not only grow up dreaming of playing in the NHL, they grow up dreaming of winning a gold medal. And that's tremendous for our sport. So they're, I guess what I'm trying to say is, it's an honor to play for your country, whether it's Canada as a Canadian or the U.S. as an American. And that's there's nothing like it. it playing in the NHL is special. Don't get me wrong. But there's something really, really special that comes through your body and through your mind when they say you're going to play for Team Canada.